Hello, I am here again with more Paleo news. There wasn't a whole lot this week, but still some stuff that's uh, pretty uh, interesting. Uh, first up, I put this article in a few videos ago, but it recently uh, resurfaced into uh, more popular websites like uh, Discovery and stuff like that. Uh, but they have found a new ichthyosaur in Queen Queensland, Australia. It was found in a school's vegetable garden by one of the students, and as far as I know, it has not been named yet. Uh, it's only been classified uh, as uh, as an ichthyosaur. The animal you see right now, that's not it. That's an, an Alphamosaurus. Uh, but while we're talking about ichthyosaurs, or just uh, sea reptiles in general, uh, there's been a new study suggesting that they are warm-blooded. Um, they did something uh, with the fish, the fossil fish teeth that lived with these reptiles and they checked the uh, oxygen isotopes uh, which is supposed to compare with the blood isotopes or something like that it gets <laughs> it gets real really chemistry in this article and I'm horrible at chemistry and it's pretty hard to understand but the uh, they something like that and they estimated that uh, uh, their body temperatures were 95 to 102 degrees Fahrenheit which is uh, roughly like 30, mid 30s to uh, like 39 degrees Celsius. Uh, uh, but yeah, uh, I am like horrible at understanding this article, so I'm sure if you read it, you can uh, get a better information out of it than I did. But yeah, the link is down there for that as well. And now there is a uh, an article came up about uh, dinosaur bite forces. It talks about how uh, stuff like uh, Tyrannosaurs, Allosaurs, Ceratosaurs, and Cetapati uh, inflicted the most damaging uh, efficient bites. And they classified um, into three different kind of bites. Uh, they say the most primitive kind of bite belonged to uh, Cercarodontosaurus, Ceratosaurus, and uh, Herastosaurus, where their back teeth uh, did most of the bite and most of the killing of their prey. And they say the most bizarre type of bite they had uh, belonged to uh, uh, Coelophysis and Centarsis, saying uh, their back teeth uh, were very powerful, the back jaws were extremely powerful, but the front jaws were extremely weak and probably wasn't good for uh, uh, holding down anything or killing or anything like that. It was mostly their back teeth. And then there's stuff like uh, Velociraptor. They say uh, Velociraptor's jaw was fairly... I don't know if they said it was weak. Um, but they didn't use their mouths much, obviously, the claws. Uh, they say they bite quick and efficient. Uh, they didn't really hold anything down with their mouths. Uh, it was just a quick bite in and then probably slash with their claws. And they say Archaeopteryx a bit in the same manner as Velociraptor. And they go on to say, uh, they get into sharks and they say Megalodon. Uh, they calculate that Megalodon had 18.2 ton bite force. That is huge. That's about, that's like what, 36,000 pounds, about around. That is a very strong bite force for this shark. Uh, that is, that's pretty cool. And finally for this week, uh, a new ceratopsian was discovered, but uh, not like how you may think. It, this uh, ceratopsian has been known for about 30 years, but it's just been classified as a Taurosaurus. Uh, but no, this particular one turned out to be a new species. Uh, they called it Ojo Ceratops. I think that's how you pronounce it. And uh, that doesn't mean... Taurosaurus is Ojoceratops. That means like this particular animal was not Taurosaurus and it's a new dinosaur. So Taurosaurus still exists. Uh, it lived in New Mexico. Uh, I think they said Albuquerque is where it lived. And and at the end they actually say uh, it might not even it might even be just a species of Triceratops. Right now it's called Ojoceratops, but they say it could be an ancestor of Triceratops, or it just could be a different species of uh, Triceratops, so more research is being done on that. Alright, that is all the news I have for now. Uh, make sure you check uh, the description, I have some bonus stuff in there as well. Uh, probably not a lot of bonus stuff, but um, 
uh, they're there. And uh, I will see you guys. Or I'll be doing another one of these about next week or so. Until then, have a groovy day.